Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, it is your favorite video. Today we're going to be doing a full face of new drugstore slash affordable makeup, makeup launches. Some of them are first impressions, a lot of them are reviews, so I hope that this video is helpful. And I also hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. If you ever see my hair looking crazy like this, it's not because it's dirty. It's actually because it's washed and it's just so poofy every time I wash it. But if it does look different, I did go darker, as you guys can see. I did post a little hair transformation come with me to the salon vlog on Instagram as well as TikTok. TikTok. Uh-oh, I just started filming. Someone's at my door. <laughs> I just looked out my window and that guy fully saw me and like started running away thinking that I'm about to like go like talk to him like no just leave the package I just didn't know I don't want to talk too much like I normally do because we have a lot to get through but first matcha oh I have not had coffee in like a month actually I had a cup of coffee in Mexico last week but other than that other than that, first we're gonna be actually using a brand new sunscreen primer. So this is brand new from NYX Cosmetics. It's called a Blur Screen SPF 30. It says Blurring Primer Sunscreen. Like I mentioned in the intro, I have tried a lot of these things. So I do have full on reviews and a couple pimples, okay? I have my thoughts about this. So first of all, packaging is really cute. It does come out like so and it looks as you guys can see very goopy it kind of is like for a sunscreen it's a little bit goopy i actually really like this i like the way it works i just think that the name of it is a little misleading i do think it's a really nice sunscreen primer as you guys can see once you start blending it out there is not going to be like any white cast it is a little bit thicker it's like a again like a sticky gel if you let it sit for a little bit it does get a little bit grippy not sticky like a like the elf gripping primer to where like like you can still wear this on alone um, but i do think it creates like a very slippy sticky kind of smooth base for makeup and it wears super well the only thing that i don't love is not the product itself. I just don't love that it's called a blurring primer because I don't think it's blurring. I think if anything, it gives um, not a dewy finish, but like a satin finish. So it's not mattifying and it's not dewy, but it's not blurring. So I don't understand why it says that. Other than that, I actually think it's great. I think it's beautiful. It's hydrating. It works beautiful by itself under makeup. I just wish it didn't say blurring because I, again, I, I feel like it can be misleading. So if you've been looking for that primer and you wanted it for the blur, maybe try something else. But um, as a primer sunscreen itself, I think it's great. So for foundation, um, this foundation I have been Lurving, not just loving, lurving for quite some time now. Even though it's like new, I did get it the day that it came out and I have been nonstop wearing it. And it is this one. So this is the new foundation from Morphe. It's called the Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. This is stunning. I have the shade Medium 14W. And first of all, you guys know how I feel. I don't like a thick layer of makeup. I don't like thick foundation, but I do like coverage. So this is where this bad boy comes in. So all you need is a pump. Maybe I'll do like a half a half more even though i don't even need it i don't know why i did that but see how liquidy and runny it is again i did not need that extra pump i don't know why i did that let me backtrack and i'm just gonna put the rest on a paper towel because again i did not need that not that it looks bad with a lot of it i just don't like having a lot of foundation on my face um this shade specifically is beautiful especially if you have uh, medium olive skin like i do it does oxidize a little bit i don't know if you guys noticed but when i first applied it it looks a little bit lighter and then it does oxidize um luckily the oxidation that it goes to matches my neck well so if you are my shade twinsy and you're a little bit more tan like me right now um i've been really liking it so see how quickly it's blending out it gives a really nice medium coverage you can definitely sheer it out and make it look a little bit more natural but i don't really find the need to because it just gives the perfect amount of coverage it is more of like a radiant finish but i do set it with powder so if you do have oily skin 
I mean, I don't know how much you would like this. It's not like overly dewy or overly hydrating, but it's definitely like not a matte product by any means. And so for me, I really like it. I think it's worse really, really well. I've literally had no issues with it. I've worn it like out, out, like, like, like out, out, like, like out. Or I've also, you know, worn it to church. Stunning foundation. I really think that they killed it with this one. Like I said, I've been using this nonstop and the shade also works perfectly. So for cream bronzer, I'm actually going to be trying out one with you guys. So, um, let me just disclaim physicians formula. They send me PR and like, it always says new. And then you guys are always like, that's not new. I don't know, man, but this is new to me. They said it was new. I don't know if it's new or not, but uh, we're going to be trying it out today. It is called their Diamond Bronzer. I guess it's part of that diamond um, collection that they have. It's the Mineral Wear Cream Bronzer in the shade Bronze Gem. And it says for extra sensitive skin or breakout prone skin. Okay. I've only swatched it and it looks very pretty. Um, I really like the packaging. I don't know if this shade's going to do much for me, but we're going to be testing it out. Um, let's see what kind of brush do I want to use. I'm just going to use what I always use. <laughs> the uh, Alter Ego in the number three. So I'm just going to grab it straight from the pan and see what this can do. I don't know how many shades there are. This is the only one I have. Like the formula itself seems nice. I think the shade is just a little bit too light. But I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like melting onto the skin. I wish this was darker because it literally looks like butter. It has like a luminous, not luminous, like a dewy finish, but it's not glittery or anything like that. This looks really, really pretty. I think if you have lighter skin tone, you might love this. It is very creamy and like it feels very hydrating. So again, I don't know if you have oily skin, I don't know if you would like this because it's like very, very dewy. The shade is way too light, but if you're looking for something that looks like butter and feels like butter and tastes like butter, no, I'm just kidding. Moving on to concealer, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out about this one. I don't know why, I don't know why, and I feel bad, Haley's Beauty, I don't know why I feel bad about this one. Okay, so they did come out, again, Haley's Beauty, they came out, wait, this is a lip gloss. See, this is why I feel weird about this, because this is a lip gloss and this is a concealer. Do I have another concealer? Is this the only shade I have? That's also why I'm concerned. So they did come out with a concealer. It's called the Revive Concealer Weightless Longwear. And they did send me the shade Light Neutral, which is why I'm concerned. It just looks like a like a lip gloss tube. How much product is in here? 0.23 ounces. And it just says brightening, long lasting, weightless. So I have no idea how much coverage we're about to get. But let's find out. Ooh, ooh, this is so light. It definitely will be brightening. I feel like companies, um, I appreciate anytime companies send me anything. I just, I notice that a lot of the times they always shade match me very, very light. And um, I don't know why. I don't know why. Do I just look like I have lighter skin tone on social media? But I still appreciate it. And obviously it's less wasteful for them to try to like shade match me than like sending me all the shades. First, let me get this little pimp out of here. I've been traveling a lot and I'm just starting to break out. My body's just like, you need to get punished somehow. That blended in really, really nicely. Now let's see what it's gonna do for the under eyes. It really does feel weightless. And I guess the fact that it's like very thin is helping me out right now because it is too light for me, but it might not look like it. What? Did this oxidize? This is actually working really nice for me. I just feel like it's oxidizing. Isn't that... It... I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I blend it out, it definitely oxidized, but it oxidized into my perfect shade. Oxidation is on our side today, you guys. This looks like it's just going to be like a very natural everyday concealer, um, but I will say that shade did help me out with the under eyes. On the skin, once blended with the sponge, it actually looks pretty. With a brush, it looked like it was a mess. With the sponge, it looks pretty. It's just not giving much coverage, but I do think that it's giving us um, enough. And it actually looks very lightweight on the skin. I'll have to keep trying this one for you guys. I definitely don't think it's like a full glam type of product. And maybe like a little bit goes a long way, because when I had it piled up, it did not look good. But now that it's like 
sheering out. It does look pretty. Obviously, now it's taking away coverage. I kind of want to add just a little bit of something, something. Um, I will keep you guys updated on this. I need to try it on like a natural day. But um, just because I'm trying to get some coverage, I'm going to add a little bit of my, oops, just a little bit of my Koki concealer, full cover concealer, just to add a little bit more brightness, even though that shade looked so light. I really do think it oxidized. And now... I look crazy. I'm just doing too much. I'll be right back and we can move on to some cream blush. Guys, that Koki concealer, y'all saw how much I put on there. Not very much. It honestly is so good. I keep raving about it and like nobody believes me. It's time that you believe me. I'm going to quickly contour my nose real quick just because I just put concealer on my nose. I'm using what I always use, the Catrice Magic Shaper Contour. That was a rushed nose contour and I kind of messed it up. And I feel like now... I don't know. Let's just forget that never happened. I'm just going to kind of blend it out into nothing. I don't have a brand new uh, cream blush. Like, not brand new. But I do have one that's new to me. And I wanted to try it out with you guys because I feel like it's going to go with the vibe. Um, this is from Moira Beauty. It's their Love Heat Cream Blush. And this is in the shade I Treasure You. And it just looks like something that I would treasure myself, you know? I don't have that many, like, orangey blushes and i've been trying to get more into them you guys will see with the eyeshadow palette and the shirt everything we're using i think it's going to go really well so i just wanted to try this out i've never tried out this formula and i wanted to try out the formula and the shade i did not expect this to be so pigmented wow wow these are pigmented um that's really pretty it's very pigmented though like what um i actually appreciate it though User arrow, f user arrow, f user arrow. <laughs> I've been trying to say user error. <laughs> user error on my part. I'm sorry, I'm like crying right now. Um, on my part for using too much, but I appreciate how thin the formula is and how pigmented it is because you guys know I just don't like too much. I don't like too much because I do like to layer a lot of makeup on, and so I like to do thin layers. That is gorgeous. It's dewy. It's pigmented. It's everything that I wanted. So that, so far, I'm going to break open all the other shades. That's so pretty. I don't have any powder, but I do have some powder blushes and bronzers. So I'm going to quickly want to set my face with my Kosas powder in the shade Feathery. Alrighty, so everything set beautifully. I do feel like I'm missing bronzer because that bronzer was just way too light for me. Thank God we have a bunch of bronzers. I've been telling you guys that I was going to show you guys these new e.l.f. primer infused bronzers. Now, they had already come out with bronzers and blushes, but I believe they only had like one or two shades of each. It was a long time ago. It was years ago. And I do have the original. It was just way too light for me. And I always thought, this formula is so good. Why isn't the shade range good as well and they finally like relaunched them i did pick up two shades and i do have a favorite already so i picked up this one this is the shade fresh tan this looked good but it's a little bit more on the reddish side this is my favorite you guys know olive this one's in the shade catching rays uh they're both really pretty they are like fairly pigmented it's like a medium pigmentation they do build up and so i still use this as eyeshadow but this is like my go-to this is like my olive skin tone dream this is like my hula caramel in a drugstore bronzer they are a matte formula they're primer infused they're very blurring they're just so nice um so i'm just gonna go ahead and pack it on since i don't have much cream bronzer but i just I've just loved them. I'm so happy that they finally like relaunched them and the formula it's still just as good. It again, medium pigmentation, you can build it up, but you really this is one of those products that like you really can't even like mess up because even if you keep building, it just looks so pretty and I love a blurring powder in general, but I love a blurring powder blush, a blurring powder bronzer because it just blurs and it just looks so pretty and again if we are shade twinsies i think you're really gonna like this because I, it's giving olive it's giving martini i love it it's so beautiful you really can't go wrong with it it's so inexpensive we are gonna add a little bit more bronzer just because this is also new 
You guys saw me use this in my last video. Um, so this is the NYX Butter Melt Bronzer. Now, the shades look very odd online, and it's because the shades are a little bit, not odd, just a little bit different. They're just a little bit more on the cooler tone, rosy type of. But um, like I mentioned in my last video, I did get the wrong shade. This is way too dark. It's called Butter Off. Ulta is right next to my gym. So every time I go to the gym, I go to Ulta, and I try to find these in store and they're just not having them in store so I just need to like buy it online because I really want a shade lighter but the finish of this is so gorgeous but because it's too dark it's also really scary for me to use extremely pigmented but look at that like beautiful type of like radiant finish it's not chunky or glittery but it does add life to the skin what I am gonna do is grab a very flimsy my not too much brush because this is very pigmented and not my shade but it does give such a beautiful beautiful result let me show you guys oh and it smells like it kind of smells like the physician's formula butter bronzer you see how it's just adding so much life into my skin you guys know I don't love a lot of highlighter but when I find products that actually highlights the skin nicely I do really like it because they are a little bit like a little rosy um they really work well for like bronzer <laughs> bronzer like you could use this as like blush as well because it's not like super brown i do think it's really pretty and we just made up for the fact that we didn't have any cream bronzer um let me say one thing let me just say one thing that i remembered if you have oily skin i feel like this is such like an anti-oily skin video not on purpose but if you have oily skin maybe don't use this because i have noticed that it does bring my skin more back to life which in theory, it's nice, but I do like to blur the pores, and I've noticed that with this, it doesn't, like, accentuate the pores. It just makes my skin so hydrated that um, sometimes I'm not used to that much hydration. If you have dry skin, you're going to love this. So for blush, we're also going to be using the primer-infused blushes. I did pick up three shades. I'll show you guys. We're going to be using this one, which is Always Fresh, which is a peachy one. Always crushing and then I did get a deeper one because why not I'm a makeup hoarder always tempting and so this is more like a mauve this is more peachy and this is pinky we're gonna be using peachy today because this ain't Texas in a hold up that's the only part of that song that I've heard yeah okay we're gonna use this um again same really nice formula um I'm using the wrong brush let me use the brush that I've been loving it's from Rare Beauty. It's their, it doesn't have any names, but I believe it's called their powder brush. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty and like flimsy. I love it. Um, again, same formula, nice and buildable pigmentation, stays on all day. It's blurring. It's beautiful. It's literally everything that you want in a blush. Quickly just add some of the Rare Beauty brow gel just to kind of tame it in place. I know it's not drugstore. I apologize. I apologize, ASMR. I don't know what is going on with me today, but I'm here. For eyeshadow, super excited. I know that the last video, probably the last video, I talked about the brand new Alter Ego palette. Well, guess what? They already have a new one, so like, why not? This looks absolutely gorgeous. It's called Wild Wood, and it's giving, it's giving Disney and Texas, right? Look how beautiful that is. So you have all your mattes and some shimmers. That's why I wore this shirt and that's why I wanted to do like peachy eyeshadow because I don't even know. I don't even know what I want to do. Like I want to do orange, but I also want to do the olive greens. Let's see. I'm first going to grab the shade Trail, which looks like the color of a trail. Let me see if I can use this as like my crease shade. I mean, pigment. The thing about Alter Ego is they will always deliver on pigment and creaminess. Zane Texas. I'm so sorry. I know that's so annoying. If you're on TikTok, I know. I'm sick of it too. But now I can't stop. I'm going to use the shade Citrus and do the same thing because I just want to make it a little bit warmer. Again, everywhere. Because I just... I was worried about the other shade being too deep, but it's not. But now I just want to make it a little bit warmer. This is so... Just such a pretty color story that I feel like would be good for like summer and fall. I'm gonna go into Pollen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. I can't believe the name is Pollen. It's gonna make me sneeze. Put it all over the lid. 
Ooh, and see, even, even though I'm just kind of dusting it, um, it just it has good pigmentation. I like this. This is just making me want to go country dancing. You want to hear a fun fact about me? I don't know if it's fun or not, but I have lived in Texas um, for over 20 years now. So you guys know I'm originally from Mexico, Mexico City. Moved here when I was nine. You girls almost 30. And I don't own cowboy boots <laughs> or cowgirl boots. And uh, Wyatt, my husband and his family, they're pretty country. And we just went to the rodeo and I was like, I don't have boots. And Wyatt was like, you don't have boots. I'm like, you're my husband. You should know I don't have boots. And so he was like, mm, I'll buy you some boots. And I was like, okay, um, I'm going to go into Moss now. I just kept thinking he's going to buy me boots. And so the next day I was like, hey, remember how you said you would buy me boots? And he was like, yeah, I guess. Like, I don't think he realized how much I was going to like hold on to that. And I decided that when he buys me my boots, that I want black boots because... I don't know, cowboy boots, I do like them on other people, but I just feel like it's not my vibe. But like black ones, I think would be badass. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I know I'm just getting ahead of myself, but that is so pretty. Um, Honestly, I would keep it at a matte, but I know you guys probably want some shimmer. So I think the shade Ray looks really pretty. Oh wow, I'm telling you guys, these palettes, this is not even wet. That's really, really pretty. It's so funny because every time Wyatt comes home from work, like, he never knows what he's gonna get, you know? Like, he'll either get no makeup and, like, you know, hair oiling routine or, like, green eyeshadow. So I'm gonna finish the lower lash line with the shade Citrus. I'm just gonna put that everywhere from beginning to end. And then I'll grab the shade Oak and just kind of deepen out the outer corner. Eyeshadow, first impressions, really, really nice. I mean, this color story, I feel like a lot of you guys would die for not literally but it's to die for i really like it really quickly before i put this away i'm just gonna grab the shade oak again this like deepest one just to kind of line the lashes because i don't want to do eyeliner today but we do have a mascara that i wanted to try out with you guys today i'm gonna curl my lashes we're gonna go back to physician's formula again remember my disclaimer i don't know what's new i have no idea it's new to me so they did send over a diamond mascara it's supposed to lengthen lift and separate packaging 10 out of 10 i love it i think it's a silicone wand oh lord it is look at that it looks like this but on the side it's like flat so I feel like with the flat side, you can probably add a lot more volume. So we're gonna do what we always do in this house. We're gonna do two coats on each lash, two generous coats and see what happens. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this mascara because it's like, it's giving, but then it's like not. The wand is just kind of hard to use. Like both sides are flat. And so you just get a lot of goop of product. And then the only comb are like on the outer like on the sides, you know? I don't think it's bad. I mean, it clearly did something to my lashes. I think it's applying a lot of product, but it's not really holding my curl. And so even though like, yeah, it's giving like length and volume, it's just kind of weighing it down. And the mascara wand is just very gimmicky. I don't know, it's just not my favorite. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna quickly add some inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna use what I always use, which is my Rare Beauty powder highlighter and exhilarate so this is the brand new setting spray from elf look at it in all its glory so it is the power grip dewy setting spray when i tell you that i've been waiting for the dupe for this and now we have it um differences is really just the fact that this sprayer is like very very thin which is a good thing but you do have to kind of spray a lot um because it's so thin that you almost don't feel it uh, but it works really really nicely. I've only tried it twice already and I've been really liking it So even though we're already doing we don't need any more do I understand we're gonna apply this So you do want to shake it up so that like the oils kind of mix together if this was just like a dewy setting spray I wouldn't love it as much, but it, you can use this as a primer You can use this uh, throughout your makeup and then also as a setting spray and I've seen people like Spray um, over like eyeshadow and it like doesn't come off so I feel like it's hard to find like a dewy uh, spray that's actually gonna hold your makeup in place not just bring your makeup back to life and so I really think it's like a really good dupe for this which is amazing so the last product that we're gonna be testing out today is actually a retry I tried the covergirl lip stains with you guys I tried one of them um, a while ago and 
it just didn't go well and they did send me all the shades so I picked out three that I thought I would like and I feel like let's see so this is the shade Shuggy girl what I don't know last time I tried it it was just not looking pretty and it was looking very patchy and I want to make sure this looks pretty and not patchy but if it doesn't work it doesn't work if I didn't mention it it's a cover girl outlast lip stain it's just like a little lip stain marker that we're gonna use as like lip liners okay so far it's already working way better than the other one that i got okay that actually looks really pretty it's just i don't know is it my lips or is it the stain i feel like right here it doesn't look that dark i think it's just grabbing on to maybe like dry patches that i have it's working i mean it's very inexpensive it's doing what it needs to do i just it's just not my favorite i just I don't know what it is, but I think it's just my lips, honestly, because it always holds on to, like, spots right here for some reason. I don't know why. It's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. So let me just line my lips and finish off this lip combo. Let's go bold. Let's use uh, Hard Candy Boyfriend because Design Texas. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. Obviously looks a lot more, like, red because of that lip stain, but this is a great affordable lip liner just use an og the morphe matte lipstick in the shade tempt this is just like a pretty peachy nude that i used to love oh yeah works perfect Alrighty, guys so this is the final result um i'm actually really happy with the makeup look i think the duds were definitely the um the mascara and the lip liner that moira blush is gorgeous all the powder blushes that we tried are gorgeous the eyeshadow is gorgeous i mean truly everything except the lip liner and the mascara are definitely um really nice products so i really hope that you guys liked this look thank you guys so much for watching i will link everything down below i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye